outside curve, outside spin, back spin, push pass. So as a training tool, I mean, I give the balls to my B17 girls, my U13. I have like some of the little ones, six, seven year olds using the ball. I think it's a great tool. So, now drills. You gotta be creative out there as a coach. You be creative and you can come up with all kinds of drills. So one of the drills that I did with my team was I have these two going over there. We got one ball, four players. And we're gonna do a little competition. So in 20, 30 minutes of practice, we can have fun and we can involve all four type of passing. So, so we're gonna go back spin, okay? And that's one zero. Go ahead. So we do a little game, so we have another four going on over there, another four going over there. There we go, one one. So now, if I hit a bad one, I'm gonna see a mix of colors. Okay, that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> My toe. Still good. Still good. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a bad one. <laughs> Just when you want a bad kick, you can't get one. Somebody wants to try? You want to try? Same <laughs> way I did here. Okay, then we do a competition, we go up to five. We're gonna train then the we go with the curving and the outside spin. But we can do the winners at the end, the winners against the winners, you know? So it's kind of fun, the kids love it. Um, another kind of training would be, you got a square like this, and you got four or five kids. So you're gonna be dribbling, okay? So they're dribbling, dribbling. Then I call their name, Angelo. So he's going to step on that ball, and now, okay, go again, keep going. So the idea here is this, when he steps on the ball, okay, see the orange? So you step on it, go ahead again. So whatever that color is going to be facing me, so I'm going to move, green. There we go, and I give it back to you, keep going. So as a coach, you're going to be moving around, and Angelo, step, so give me blue. Go ahead, keep going, keep going. Perfect. There we go, orange. Got it, that's it. So it's all about repetition. Angelo. There we go. So it's not going to work every time, but you guess them to do the proper, you know, technique. Another thing would be rolling the ball, basic, and keeping the same color. There we go. Try to keep any color you want. There you go. You got the green. Oh my God, you had it. <laughs> There's a lot of things that you gotta be creative tonight. You come up with your own, your own thing. So, um, is there anything you wanna say, Matt? No, no, I just wanna. <laughs> Pass that also uh, with the ball, there's a website and you guys can pass this around real quick. There's a PDF that you can download and there's just, right here, there's just the basic four passes that Carlos showed you. The push pass, back spin, outside and inside spin. And it gives uh, specific instructions to where you can print them out. And there's gonna be probably 15 to 25 more directions to where you know you could base your practices on and you could not center it around there, but for the, like Carlos was hitting on, the basic techniques. You know, even the curving and the back spin of the balls is, you know, the little peanuts, they're gonna have a little bit of a difficult time getting that push pass because like you see on the directions, you really gotta open up and your technique to get that pure color stripe has gotta be spot on. So it takes a little bit of time. But, you know, I was coaching rec with Mike and TVSA for eight years and my coaching prowess ran out 20 minutes into the first year. You know, I just love the sport and like coaching my son. But the, the, the cleat sock alone, giving them direction and point of reference of eye, ball, foot contact is huge. I mean, when I stopped practicing, it was the 10-year-olds, and I was still having kids that towed the ball, that didn't know where to strike the ball. And, you know, it's like in classrooms to be able to focus on just one kid. You know, you have certain kids that are just going to rise to the occasion. They're going to get it like that. And that kind of leaves the other kids. But, you know, when you see a kid that finally gets it and can hit it with the, the right part of the foot, like, here's a basic one. 
toe down. I don't know how many years I said it at coaching uh, Rick Ball. The target's down like this, you have them look at that target, and when they hit it, that center target's toe down. It just builds that technique of toe down, striking the ball in the right way and building that, that, that fundamental technique of what soccer's all about. You know, when, when they're younger kids, they bunch in a group, and it's because they can't pass the ball good. They all got to come in together because they can barely kick it. I mean, if we could teach the kids the right technique at a young age, it'd make a different player, a completely different player. And that's what this, that's what this system does. It puts the cleat sock, which has the targets in the right area, you know, on the inside laces, not on the center of the foot, but off to the side. That just shows them the proper way to put it. And if they continue to do that, the coaches, you know, you don't have to do the whole practice with it, but those are basic fundamentals that builds and then it gets into the advanced. Curving, backspin, then they get that color and that instant gratification that they get of seeing it. Now when the kids get it, they want to get it again. And they actually go home and practice. I know Carlos has younger kids that they come, they go home and they come back and just little ones and they're getting that back to that push pass, boom, boom, every time. When two weeks before they could barely kick the ball. And that's just, you know, for kids and teaching kids, it's it's visual. They want to see something, get something back instead of just going out there and kicking the ball and you don't know if Johnny's kicking it right because sometimes he does and sometimes he doesn't. You know, if you're a coach that doesn't know what's going on, you can walk behind the player and go, nope, obviously you're not getting the color or the color's spinning that way. You need to open up and you can adjust them in a, you know, in a, in a hurry. The kid can take that adjustment as you walk away and improve on it himself, just by watching the box. So uh, that's, that's what this ball is all about. It's getting ready to hit nationwide. We've got a, a, a larger company that's going to be putting these things in Dick Sporting Goods and, and all over the United States. And what we're doing here is just the, the basic grassroots. We're going from club to club to club all over the nation. Carlos is a, a ex-professional soccer player, so he's got contacts and then some. And what we're doing is trying to encourage you guys as coaches to adapt this and bring this into your uh, repertoire as it was and, and, and use it because it's going to benefit the kids and you as coaches. Any questions? So there's no access to purchasing that at this time? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, there is. Yeah, okay. absolutely. So how much are they? Uh, they're $32.50. <laughs> yeah, $32.50, which you get the coach. Right? Say that? <laughs> well, and that's what we're going to be talking with Mike and TVSA, and, and there's obviously, absolutely, I mean, we have things that we need to discuss after you guys get with Mike, and um, yeah, we want to help the kids. So, I mean, and as we help the kids, and as you're talking about discounts, we'll help the rec league as well. To be honest with you, it looks like a great idea, yeah. but I sure as heck can't afford to buy 14 of them for my team, and yeah. I hate to even ask my parents yeah. for anything. And that's why this has already been discussed with Mike. I mean, we'll work it out. We're going to make it to where we want everybody to have one, obviously. I mean, for money reasons, and not only that, but I truly believe that this was developed. I mean, when I brought this to Mike probably a year and a half ago, it had six flame targets on it. I mean, the evolution of this has been amazing with bringing Carlos in. It was designed in Brazil. The, the fusion and everything is just, there's nothing like it in the world. So it's its very unique and very special. And we really want, I, I truly think it'll change uh, coaches and players' ability to progress, without a doubt. And we've seen it, you know, this has been tested out. We've been testing it for about six months and it's uh, it, its doing real well. So yes, that's not a problem. Any other questions? You said you get the little yep. target with the ball. It so comes with the ball, that's gonna be coming with an instructional DVD. We have a, uh, commercial that's coming out. This is going to be on Univision uh, television and other commercials. The people that we work with work with MLS. And um, there's also going to be a minute and 30 second instructional DVD that comes with it. And if that, uh, uh, as it comes passed around, that's all going to be in there. You know, it's going to be precise and a little bit, I don't want to say drawn out, but you could go back as a coach, look at it again real quick, and, and pick it up. And again, the, the PDF will be available to where you can print out, put in a book, throw in your bag, whichever. Direction and instruction. Look around. They're all size five. No, we have threes, fours, fives. Here you guys. Touch, feel. Any other questions? Nope. And these are demo balls. We actually have a better product. These are balls that we got. We had a. These are demos, so the other the quality of the ball is uh, much improved. Almost orange. Almost orange. <laughs> <laughs> I practice on that technique. Thank you, gentlemen. I really appreciate it. Okay, guys, thank you for your time. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys coming out.